Welcome to Stump the Scientist. So Jawa, our Facebook friend, would like to know, in zero gravity, do the laws of centrifugal force still apply? Okay, good question. I'll give it a shot. Well, Jawa, the answer to your question is yes, but let's go into it a little bit. Uh, centrifugal force, as you recall, when I twirl something like this object around with this string, I feel a force from the string. And that's the force we call centrifugal force. Now, in physics, however, we know that that force is really what we call a fictitious force. The real force is something we call centripetal force, P-E-T-A-L at the end. And I'll explain that a little bit. Uh, the operable physics law here is called Newton's first law of motion. And that law says that any object which is moving will tend to remain moving in a straight line unless it's acted on by an external force. That's the first law, and it's quite true. Now, when I twirl something around in a circle, I'm obviously not moving it in a straight line. And therefore, by Newton's first law, I must be applying a force. Now, the force I'm applying to this object is with the string to hold it in a circle, and that force is called centripetal force, and it's actually pulling in on the object by means of this string. And so that's centripetal force, and that's the true force in the problem. So now the rest of your question is, does gravity affect this process? This would happen whether I had gravity or not. What gravity does is add another force, which goes down, of course, and that adds to the centripetal force in this problem. And so if I take this object and twirl it in a gravity, like I'm in now, and I do it fast so the centripetal force is much stronger than gravity, I don't see much happening. It twirls in a flat plane. If I slow it down so the centripetal force gets smaller, it now goes below my hand, and that's because gravity is pulling it down. Now, if I try to twirl it vertically, and I do it fast so that the forces are much stronger than gravity, it does just fine if I slow it down so that the gravity forces get stronger than the centripetal forces, it won't go over anymore. If I were not in a gravity field, like out in space, then I could continue to twirl the string at any speed because there would be no vertical. And so the answer to your question is yes, the laws of motion are the same whether I'm in a gravity field or not, but I have to take into account both forces, the centripetal force and the gravitational force, when I'm here on Earth. Good question, Jawan. I hope that helps.